hello everyone sorry here and today we're going to play an interesting deck that has been holding a high win rate on ladder around 57 percent win rate one of the highest right now doesn't have a lot of uh, play rate but it's kind of gaining popularity recently evelyn nidale so evelyn nidale is kind of like a mid-range deck where it wants to use the husks as a win condition what we want to do is summon something like a domination early on gives us a husk and buffs up the husk later on we want to have Evelyn on the board which acts as an annoying unit on the board and a husk generator these husks will come in handy when we play stuff like dark in blood letters on them so we get a uh, what's it called the dark enthrall once we kill that husk and we get the plus one damage on our unit these husks will also level up nidalee faster if she sees a husk getting summoned it will accelerate her level up condition also transformations uh, ambush will help us out also we have voice of risen voice of risen evelyn is easy to level up so she will activate her ability quite easily once she sees evelyn on the board now we have everything on the board buffed including the dark enthralls which now you don't even have to equip them they're kind of annoying on the board and the husks are buffed so when the husks are buffed you play a unit it will take the voice of the risen buff add it to itself and add the additional voice of the risen buff so you're getting double voice of the risen buff whenever you play a unit on a husk so now you're creating more pressure on the opponent uh, and with an nidalee gaining overwhelm keyword now you can push overwhelm damage on overwhelm deck basically uh steam picks off stuff with his uh, vulnerable keyword lets you post things on the nidalee or evelyn and we have camouflaged horror lets you strike because we don't really have a lot of uh, removal stuff we do have desert duelist uh, desert duel and we have camouflage later on you it's easy to activate his evolve and he starts striking and killing things and he does have fearsome so difficult to block uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the idea of the deck. We will take it to ladder and we'll see how it goes. Without further ado, here we go. Alright, we're against uh, uh, Set Seraphine, which has been really popular. I'll keep uh, Domination and uh, Nedale. Because Nedale, we can transform her. I could play her on turn 2, it's just kind of scary to jam her on turn 2 because they could kill her with a Mystic Shot that I can't really save her, right? So we'll probably just wait it out. All right, yeah, just pass. I could go domination here, get the husk online into an Evelyn on turn uh, four on defense, and then we'll see what we can do afterwards. Domination killed. They will probably, I think, kill this. I feel like they should be killing it. Maybe on the upcoming turn or something. We'll see. Oh, amazing, we'll go Avalon here. Got the husk online. And now we're generating husks which we want to give to Nidale, right? Mind if I slip into something a little more painful? Alright, let's just pass. I don't really need to play this Desert Duelist right now. I could kill the Seraphine with uh, a challenger if I can. But I do want to go Nidali first, right? Give her some key, uh, HP and stuff. So she's difficult to kill. Alright, let's do this. So I'll, I will transform her. The thing is, I do want to play this immediately so I can get the challenger on it immediately. Uh, because if I do do the transformation, maybe they play like a weaker unit or something. Since uh, I can't put the challenger on. Want a piece of me? Okay. I have a set that is somewhat scary. It's kind of buffed as well. Why does he have a plus one plus one? Oh, from shirt spoils. Yeah, that's a bit annoying. I could go Desert Duel and try to kill him here. Which might be the only way out. 
I could force a tag out, I guess. But this does stop me from transforming Nidalee this turn. Which I guess it's kind of okay, right? Uh, yeah, let's open with this. Try to kill this guy. Tag out, understandable. We expected it. But at least he loses the buffs, right? I can't transform Nidalee this turn, but it is what it is. Let's go for an attack. I kind of could go like this and push a lot of damage. I'd rather just kill this uh, Seraph and get rid of her. And later we'll find an answer for the set. And playing voice along with Evelyn will uh, trigger her effect. We just need to keep this Nidalee alive. That's kind of the goal right now. So I'm down to go Steam. And then next time we go Voice of Risen. Ready for a little splish splash steam. Always here, but you know that. I should be transforming, I think, Nidale, so she kind of works on her level up. But it's kind of super easy to level her up, to be honest. Yeah, this is fine. We'll just accept this. I'll transform her now. So we can start working on her level up. So what this does now, when Evelyn summons the husk, she advances her level up. I like going Vora into voice, but then I can't play this if I need to. But I think it's always... Uh, yeah, I think it's always voice, and maybe we can go this if I need it. And this will level up the Nidalee, right? Ah, painful. Uh, it is what it is. Let's... Uh, I think Vora is much better than this now. So we'll go Vora. And now the the fact that we have uh, husks that are buffed by Ghosts of the Risen, those buffs will go to our units, right? That's like understandable. And we'll attack. I guess they probably have an answer here, so maybe I just pull like this to ensure that this kind of dies. But I do want this set to die. Amazing. And next turn, like our upcoming attack turn, we should be able to lethal, I think, especially with another voice on the board. We're threatening a lot of damage. Alright, let's go another... Uh... Yeah, let's go another voice here. Buff everything up. Some will ascend. All will become legends. A lot, a lot of stats. And we can still go with this as well. This is nice, so we can put vulnerable and pull something away, right? Aftershock most likely to kill here. That's okay. Let's do this now. And go in the bush. And whenever we need to, we can transform it, right? Maybe a mystic shot to kill here, yeah. I'll transform it here so we can put vulnerable. And we just pass. But the goal right now is to pull this on the Nidalee so she can push over one damage and the rest of the units can hit face. I can go with Assaultor as well here. He pushes 3 damage. Could be valuable. Pass. And we swing with everything here. Pull this here. And this should be lethal. Alright, so they've, they've been using up a lot of mana for card draw, so they have less uh, mana resources to survive this. A blocker. And a tag out. Okay, maybe they actually can survive at 2 HP. 
So if I do this, it should add enough damage. And technically, I still have the Nidalee spell, right? If it's kind of needed. Alright, GG is GG is very close game. Uh, we just kind of put a lot of pressure on them and they couldn't keep up. Alright, we're against Bane Aatrox. Could be a difficult matchup because of the challenger units that can pick off our own units. But we'll see, we'll see. We have a domination. Uh, we just need to find... Darken is nice. But we need to find an Avalon. There we go, perfect. So... We're hoping we don't see a Valor into a Dark and Harp. That's kind of the worst scenario. Fleet Feather Tracker into Dark and Harp is also annoying, but it's always Valor into Dark and Harp. So this tells me they don't have a Challenger unit, I guess, for them to do this. Unless they have like another Dark and Harp, maybe. Alright, let's go Domination here. This is also nice to kill here. But I'd rather go Domination now. Challenger is really good by the way Challenger is awesome. I'll put the weapon here uh, The reason to put weapon here is because when I play Evelyn She will get an extra one damage from the weapon and we'll get uh, This on the board as well uh, Evelyn can block this. Evelyn shuts down their attack here. They just don't want to attack anymore Unless they want to sack this into the Evelyn and then swing with this but Evelyn having Challenger is just insane. If we can like get a uh, regeneration keyword, that makes life much better as well. But we do need to keep in mind that opponent could have uh, a form up. We did get a quick attack though, so we can get a quick attack on her next turn. So now they find a need form up, double form up, I guess, to kill, which is quite difficult. Or form up into fish fight, I guess. Alright, so I'm gonna block this and kill it. I'm assuming they want to maybe fish fight or something. We'll see later. Or they want to play the tumble and get this on the board next turn. Which is a bit okay. If they play form up here, she goes goes up to five, catch six, it's fine. I don't have to play this weapon, right? I can just pass here. I will go immediately with the steam here. So we can put a lot of pressure. Let's keep going. There was a consideration, I guess, to put the blood letters here. So we can get one more damage on this team. Maybe that was a bit better. Oh, I could have also gone Nidale. But if I got, went Nidale, I can't put Challenger on this. Which I kind of value way more right now. I think Nidale is next turn, not now. Okay. I can sack the domination into this. So I think that's kind of fine. Kind of to preserve health. And we can swing here and try to kill this. The only problem with doing that is that they could technically have a fish fight. So instead, a form up, I mean. So instead, I kind of want to do this here, which makes sure that form up isn't enough. They could still fish fight if they want to. Uh, they could still swing one more time as well here. Uh, Alright, let's go for a swing. They could also have a single. But now form up isn't enough. So, yeah, it's perfect for us here. Vain swinging, we won't block it because we can kill it for free like this. Okay. Push one extra damage face. And, oh, I should have swung with this. My bad. My bad, my bad, my bad. I forgot. I missed two damage face. I don't think it matters that much in these kind of match. I mean, it could matter. It's fine. I'm just trying to make myself feel better. It's fine. We don't need it. So, Aatrox maybe this turn? We could see an Aatrox. Well, Aatrox doesn't really do much at all. Oh, Jural. Makes a lot of sense. Let's go Nidale. Yes. We level this up so if they try to kill here, uh, at least we uh, it trades, but they could still play that Dark and Harp here. Which I guess it's okay. The main goal right now is to uh, 
find a Priotoroyz pushing a lot of damage next turn, right? Catch. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. Let's transform. So we can start working on the level up here. And... Uh, This here. Care of fish fight, you know. Kind of expected it, to be honest. But it is what it is. Let's do this. So what I'm gonna try to do is set up uh, a right of negation for next turn. In case they try to fish fight again or something, right? So for the time being just pass. And I'll try to also level up this Nidalee. Oh, that's really good as well. I'm sure if I can level it up right now. Right, do this. Into this. Ah, maybe I should have went opened for Vora actually. Yeah, I kind of misplayed. I should have opened Vora. I was thinking of this too much, but I don't have the mana to, to do it. Let's do Vora. Level up the Nether. And when we attack, we're gonna get the the spell from Nether. This turn I played really poor. I played very poor, but we're still fine-ish. It's still doable. Let's pull this, get rid of it. I can't really lethal this turn. So the main goal is to try and push as much damage as possible. And I'll pull this away just to get rid of it. Because I'm not really lethaling right now. The main goal is just push as much damage. Keep the right of negation uh, unit alive. It will come in handy. And we can kill the Aatrox this turn. Amazing. And Nidal is quite annoying. And she's easy to level up still. Like, I still have a domination that's two stacks. If I do transform this, that's one stack. It's, she's easy to level up. Let's kill this. Get rid of him here, and probably next attack token we should be able to leave him. Especially with uh, a voice of the Arism. That's really good. Because they might go this, right? The Stiratu. Now we can kill the Stiratu, but the only problem is. I will lose my Nidale to the Stiato. Which feels somewhat bad. I can do this and just kind of go wide on the board, I guess. I just don't want them to draw cards. Like, I'm kind of winning the game. Don't allow them to draw cards and we should be kind of fine, I guess. They shouldn't be able to stop. Uh, the open attack here. They don't really have any answers. So oh, this should be lethal. Open, lethal, 12 damage. Aatrox Vein does not have an answer as long as they don't have units on the board. GG's, GG's. Alright, we are against Timo Condense. So it could be a difficult matchup. I'll only keep one domination and look for good units which we didn't find. We need something like an Avalon or an Nidalee to put early pressure. This is really good so we can maybe pull and kill uh, Timo, right? Okay, we don't need three of them though. Uh, but I will see what happens. Maybe they don't have a Timo early on and we can maybe do stuff that does look like a Timo so we're not happy with that. But it is still doable. We can do stuff. So just take the hit here. Play this. So we can put block this. I don't want to take too much damage here. And play this. Transform. Put uh, vulnerable. I can go to Mination next turn and try to kill it. They can always play Mystic Shot and save the team. But it is what it is, right? We can't do much about it. I could even go this. I, I could go Nidalee. They don't really have an answer to Nidalee unless it's uh, after Shock. 
I think. But most lists, I don't think they run Aftershock. Or at least I don't think so. Uh, let's transform. Open, pull, kill. They shouldn't have an answer unless there is Mystic Shot Pythos, I guess. That could be an answer. Amazing. So, yeah. Uh, usually you prefer getting at least a, a husk on, on the Nindalis so you can like, get a lot of stats on her. But in this kind of scenario we just didn't really... Like it wasn't an option for us basically. I could level up this Nindalis next turn, right? So, but this is a big problem now. This is a big problem. An annoying one as well. Because I do need to block it. I'd rather not take 4 damage face, right? So... I could go Domination Although I don't fully like that Yeah, I think it's Domination, I think best option here We we'll go Domination Block And next turn we can go Maybe Voice of the Risen, but if I go Voice of the Risen I'm not really leveling her up It's kind of the problem here so instead, I could go this guy and put a lot of pressure on them, I guess. And this will help me level them up, right? And I can pull this as well. Transform. We have Overwhelm, a lot of stats here. So we get to push some good damage and we can play another one if I need to the only problem with playing another one is that we're not advancing level up right but I can play it and I don't really need to transform it I, oh that's annoying okay I, I will transform it now even without the level up it's fine the main goal is to push as much damage as possible and this is the most damage while keeping my units alive and I get the thing that I can strike face that's okay so, right. so we can strike with this face which puts a lot of shrooms in their deck i do have an avenging vastaya to shut down uh, a corina play right we can survive a corina play but if they have a condense into corina that's kind of a problem well let's do this this puts a lot of shrooms like right now they have a lot of shrooms how many shrooms we have seven which another voice Really good. Reporting in. Emo. Alright, let's play voice and chill. Tell our story. And Less once they forgotten. swing, I'll play the quicksand so we can block and kill it. I'll block with the voice even though she uh yeah voice is better block. This it's just not they can't kill it to be honest. I just need to work on the Nidali level up now. It's also good to kill uh, to kill their uh, what's it called? The annoying thing. Right, let's do this for protection if needed. for a swing it's kind of insane they didn't actually draw a shroom while i drew a shroom even though we have way less shrooms but yeah hopefully after the swing they'll start drawing a lot but this is putting a lot of shrooms in there i guess there was a consideration to go voice of prison and kind of amplify the amount of damage we can deal here let me kill this so this might force a mystic shot here if they do that i i will go with this play here. Uh, I mean, fine. they have a mistake, it's okay. Amazing. And now this is uh, transformed, right? With the husk we're gonna get evolved. Oh, overwhelm. Yeah, Overwhelm doesn't. We can still play the strike, and it still kills the Corina, so it kind of still does its job, I guess. 
All right, yeah, they gave up. There is nothing they could do, I guess. The Jays, the Jays. All right, we're against Kane Aatrox, uh, Vayne Aatrox. Uh, this should be a good matchup for us if we can find our champions early on, uh, which unfortunately we didn't. Uh, hopefully we can draw into them though. Domination would also be nice if we can find her. Mm, not, not the best hand right now. Uh, we're both mostly scared of uh, like a Valor into Dark and Harp. That's kind of the scariest thing we could see. Evelyn is nice. Okay. We just need a good 3 drop here. That's not good at all because this is going to provide buffs and we can't really contest it at all. So this is a problem. But we're hoping we can draw something here. Something playable. That is playable. Do this. Demons walk among us, masquerading I can't really magic. pull the Evelyn either here. Oh, I, a vein, I mean. I can do this into this. Kill. So we get rid of this vein. Uh, but I can't really kill this. This has too much stats right now. I can maybe pull it later, I guess. This goes up to to four. It's just not enough. To we'll just pass for now. I'm gonna have to rely on Evelyn to kill this. All right. So they have double buffed already, which is really bad. So I'm gonna go Steam here. Put Challenger on this, and Evelyn will join the battle next turn. She's going to be able to kill here. Okay, that's totally fine by me. They're getting extra buffs, which is somewhat annoying. Well, this is fine. This is okay. Just pass. We'll go Evelyn this turn, and then later we can go Voice of the Risen, and our husks will provide a lot of additional stats, right? But the main goal is to try and kill here. Mind if I slip into something a little more painful? I could maybe ignore this as well if I can find like better targets or something. If they pass, I'll just pass again. Okay. This so uh, dark and hot, yeah. Alright. So I'm assuming they have a fish fight, so I'm gonna do this and pull here. Uh, not a fish fight, a form up, I think. So I'll do this to force the form up out of them. While keeping Evelyn alive. I kind of value this Evelyn way too much, right? Yeah. So we kind of knew they had something. I can't really kill it, but I can damage it one extra damage. We drop it really low. And now we're just kind of chilling, right? I can bank mana. I can maybe play this here. Uh, do I need the mana? Not really. I can do this. I'll do this here so this gets one extra damage. The problem we have right now is they have a really buffy unit coming up that I can't deal with, I guess. And we're also scared of uh, of ways they could kill maybe here or something. But that's a weird attack. But I'll I'll just play this uh, voice of the reason. I guess what we're scared of is another uh, forum up into a fish fight to kill this Evelyn. But since we have tough, I guess we're safe for now. Yeah, that's what we were scared of mostly. Uh, I'll pass. Let's see what we can get here. Here's some. Here's some is cute. I like going this first, but then I don't have mana anymore for everything I want, so I'll do it this first. Keep the negation mana if needed. Alright, oh, that's buffy. So, do this here.
shut it down. And we want to go for swings here. Pull this here. You can swing, they can't really kill here. You can swing. You can uh, not swing. Uh, I mean, everything can swing technically. Push as much damage as possible and we keep quicksand open in case they try to do something cute. Like a single combat. Yeah. So when we do quicksand here, we're saving this and we're saving our Evelyn and now they're kind of screwed here, right? So they're kind of in big trouble now. We've won the board presence. They could summon this next turn, which is somewhat annoying. Uh, but I can summon Zulani immediately. And she'll have a lot of stats, so she could block and kill this. Yeah. I could even... No. I can't play and kill like this. It has to be Zulani. Kill here, get the top keyword. So it doesn't die to this. And we'll see what unit they sound. They could high roll uh, Anaka into Anaka and another unit. That could be a bit scary. We'll see. Doable. Acceptable. Acceptable. Uh, what do we sack though? Voice of the Rizam, I guess. Sure. You're already level. But I don't think it's Voice of the Rizam. I think it's always Evelyn. Because Voice of the Rizam is buffing our units and we, we just have lethal on the uh, open attack. But yeah, GG is GG is. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care and goodbye.